Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be talking about types of essay. But before that, let's see what an essay writing is. Essay writing is the process of creating a focused piece of non-fiction that presents a writer's point of view on a certain topic and it is supported by evidence, interpretation and analysis. An essay has basically three parts. Introduction, body and conclusion. Normally, essay is written into five paragraphs. The first paragraph is your introduction. The rest three paragraphs are your body paragraphs. And the last paragraph is your conclusion. Essays can be formal or informal and it has different purposes and application. These are general essay types. Descriptive essay, narrative, compare and contrast, persuasive and argumentative. Let's see what a descriptive essay is. A descriptive essay provides a detailed sensory description of a certain thing. Like narrative essay, it provides you to be more creative rather than other creative writing. But it is more focused and tightly knitted as comparative to narrative essay. The aim of descriptive essay is to provide a vivid picture of a certain thing, either it can be a person or object or a certain place, and it provides the sensory details which mean it gives the description of that object using all the senses, that how a certain object feels, what is the color of it, and uh, if you are talking about a certain place, you can give vivid imagery that how that place looks. If it is a vacation place, you can say that it has a proper seating arrangement. So that's how a descriptive essay is written. Descriptive essay actually tests your ability how to use language creatively, that you can make striking word choices, which makes a memorable picture for the reader. Normally, descriptive essays are loosely structured, but it means that you have to give all the description before concluding it and giving a whole picture of that description. When you are using a figurative language, try to use words that are more uh, vivid and more expressive so that uh, it gives an original description of your object. As you can see, I have given example of descriptive essay. For example, it could be a visit to a Nathya Gali or your favorite place or what, what is your favorite pet or you can write your, your childhood memorable visiting place. So these are the types of descriptive essay. Narrative essay. Narrative essay is the t essay that tells a story and it is usually written in a chronological order, which means it follows a chain of event. For example, if you're writing an essay of your first day at a job, it means you will start by that you woke up and you got ready, you had your breakfast and left for your job. You reach your workplace at like 8.30 a.m. and then you have your orientation. So it follows a certain chain of event and proper timeline. The aim of narrative essay is to describe a course of event from a subjective vintage point of view and it is usually written in first person present or first person uh, past tense. The focus of narrative essay is to identify uh, with the narrator's point of view and to find a common features of subjectivity. A narrative essay actually tests your ability to create a narrative which is well engaging and well structured. A narrative essay is more personal and more creative as comparative to other creative writings. These are the titles that I have used as an example for narrative essay. For example, uh, your first day at a job, it can be taken as a narrative essay. Uh, your childhood embarrassing moment because you will state it in a form of a story. The third type of essay is compare and contrast. This type of essay actually gives contrasting point of view between two subjects. The aim of this essay is to provide a comparison and how a certain topic is similar and dissimilar on certain points. When it comes to the structure of comparison contrast essay, we give 
in the body paragraphs we give our evidence how a certain topic is similar or dissimilar on certain parameters before coming to the final analysis point the aim of comparison and contrast essay is to give point of uh, a certain point in which we are comparing two or more subjects at the same time let's talk about the structure of comparison contrast essay there are basically two methods in which we can uh, talk about how a comparison and contrast essay can be structured the first method is alternating method and the second one is block method in alternating method what we do that we give the comparison side by side in terms of comparing point of views in block method we give similarities in one body paragraph and we give dissimilarities in the next second body paragraph these are the examples of comparison contrast essay for example as you can see which one is better android or apple phone sunset is good or sun, uh, sunrise is good or fossil fuels or renewable resources so there is a comparison between two points either fossil fuels are better or either renewable resources are better so we are comparing uh, on the terms that the one point one type of thing has certain benefits and certain flaws and the other one also has certain benefits and certain flaws and which one is better than both of them the fourth type of essay is persuasive essay in this essay the writer wants to persuade the reader either to accept an idea or to agree with a certain point of view the aim of this essay is that writer wants the reader to agree with writer and to believe this thing that whatever writer is stating his idea his point of view is the reasonable one and the structure of this essay when we are writing persuasive essay we need to use a striking word choice in which you can hook your readers attention and you can back your writer's opinion by certain evidence and analysis uh, a persuasive essay is a type of essay that provides a logical argument with emotional appeal so that it can sway your reader and they will agree with your point of view Uh, there are few examples of persuasive essay for example uh, educational development and its effects on psychological development uh, or you can say another example of persuasive essay can be uh, promoting kindness and empathy in your society which means you are going to provide evidence and provide quotations that supports your claim that when you are promoting kindness and empathy in your workplace environment it is more beneficial for your whole team the last type of essay is known as argumentative essay and there is a very slight difference between a persuasive essay and an argumentative essay a persuasive essay is written with the intention that you just want to persuade or convince your reader to agree with your point of view but when you are writing an argumentative essay presents an extended uh, evidence based argument in order to convince your reader you must have a clear thesis which you can back with evidence and as a writer your aim is to convince your reader so you need to provide proper evidence either it can be quotation and proper analysis argumentative essays are usually written about the more controversial topics in which we know there are there is a proper disagreement on a certain issue in an argumentative essay a writer sets a claim and in order to prove that claim he provides proper evidence and facts to support that claim in an argumentative essay we acknowledge the opposing point of view by refuting or conceding the opposing point of views the aim of argumentative essay is to test your ability that how you can give your point of view and support it as you can see i have given few examples of argumentative essay the first one states about is ebook learning is better than uh, paperback learning or death penalty can death penalty uh, be more effective in controlling crime or is there should be paternity leave for men so they you need to build your argument and in order to support your argument you need certain evidences certain facts which supports your claim that either you are in favor of it or if you are in against of that point of view you need to give your stance by providing certain evidences 